case anybody was wondering what a B-Series, this is the B2650, is capable of picking up. That's an 8-foot Minute Mount 1, the original. Fisher steel plow. And it picks it up like it's not even there. That's as high as I can go without any ballast on the back. But I put that box blade on over there. I could lift this thing up and put it up on top of that shipping container if I wanted to. So, for a little B-Series tractor, I mean, I don't know what those plows weigh, but got to be close to, if not over, a thousand pounds. And it's basically like teeter-tottering off the end. It's not even touching the back of the bucket. You can see it's like just teeter-tottering on the bucket with a ratchet strap. This is the easiest way to move around one of these, too, if you got a skid steer or a tractor or something, by the way. But, uh, yeah, get this spot cleared out. I got this plow for the tractor, too, but, of course, I bought the truck with the plow right after I bought the tractor, so this thing's been used, like, once. I let a buddy of mine try it out because he was going to buy it, but I think it's too big for his tractor anyway. It's like a five- or six-foot hydraulic snow plow. But, uh, yeah, got the whole parking area done. Got all the way down to the willow tree where we're putting the gate. I ended up uh, building a ramp to the workshop. Moved this stone wall. The stone wall used to come down to here. And then this was all dirt back up to the building. But I cut that all out. Kind of turn the stone wall so it goes to the building so now i can back a truck right up to the door to get to my impact and everything if i need to change a tire or something it's not like trying to finagle my way through this area but uh yeah this milling's uh of course the roller broke of course so luckily i know somebody with a four ton roller that's gonna come do it for relatively cheap so I'm trying to get it all spread, but uh, you can see this is where I came up and turned with my trailer. Dual axle trailer tires don't really uh, make sharp corners that well, and it barely dug it up at all, just a little teeny tiny bit, and that'll all roll back down in and we'll roll the piss out of it. But uh, yeah, that's what a little B-Series is capable of picking up. Eight foot minute mount one with a beefy cutting edge on it. That cutting edge probably weighs 100 pounds by itself. That's a big cutting edge. But I gotta reskin the front of this plow too before winter. Maybe I'll make a video on that. Sheet metal. They sell a sheet metal piece that just welts right on and starting to get some rust through spots. This plow's 10 years old. Or 13 years old now actually. But Yep, they can pick up a freaking good amount of weight for a uh, little B-Series Kubota. Alright, back to work. <laughs> 